Welcome to Good Mythical More. This may be the most unsatisfying episode of Good Mythical Morning that you will ever watch, but you're not gonna wanna look away. You mean Good Mythical More? What is this? First, we're gonna play Who You Talking About. It's when we read a comment that someone made and we guess whether it was about him or him. And we have these puzzles that we're gonna solve. Yeah. Uh, all of them, we're gonna solve all of them. HKH25 says, blank has so much pent up cleaning rage. Well, that's Link. Well, yeah, that has to. I don't have any cleaning well, rage. But you have pent up rage, and if we have, to, you have to be cleaning on the show. Maybe it just comes out. I don't have cleaning rage. No. That's what I said. Link. It's me. I know it's me. I mean, my dentist told me that I was brushing my teeth too hard. Well, oh, you're making your gums erode? This was an actual, no, they said that there were striations on my teeth itself. Like, my teeth, I was eroding my teeth by brushing them too Whoa. hard. Whoa. Did, did he give you a lesson in how hard to do it? Did he like guide your hand? Are you trying to make this sexual? <laughs> no, I'm just saying. Like, like he's a dentist. Dude. What do he's you a do when, like, do you say, like, all right, do it real let, hard and let me show you <laughs> how to brush it? <laughs> let me show you how like, to let up. What do you? What do you? What do you? Well, how, okay, but what did you do? I mean, did you? Are you? Are you what? brushing hard enough? I now? think the question is, what did? What are you? What maybe did you're you not hope? brushing hard enough. What now? did you hope I was going to tell you that he did? <laughs> He just said, you're brushing too hard, and you went home and then did it and then came back six months later and he said, all right, you're brushing not, you're brushing just right. Because he's like Goldilocks, man. We what never had too, another, hard enough? we never had another conversation about it. Well, that's a disappointment. Because I feel like the damage was done. Your teeth are dead. Well, man. that's true. They, the damage is done. They're not dead. Um, can I? Um, yes. Can I say something uh, sexual? Um, <laughs> yeah, sexual? Yeah, yeah. Well, here's the thing. I got... I got a DM, not, and 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 uh -oh. that could mean a lot of things. More now. I want to warn you that it's not it, it's not the usual DM. I thought this episode might be appropriate to read it because um, it involves a crew member who who uh, was uh, mentioned in the episode. Um, okay. Hey, my name is I won't I won't say the name. I like the show. Tell Morgan I said hey. He's my favorite. I only watch the show to see Morgan. Rhett and Link are okay. You are cool too. But Mor Morgan is hardly ever seen. Yeah. I mean, this is a frustrated viewer, Morgan. <laughs> this mythical beast is just, I mean, I, I mean, we could go months without you being seen. I mean, we can't go seconds without you being felt, but it's up to you whether you, I mean, do you want to, you want to give this mythical beast what, <laughs> what their, their deepest longings? You want to give them a glimpse of Morgan Morgan? Come on. Come on, Morgan. <laughs> oh, you got the double mask, There Morgan. he is, double mask Morgan. <laughs> that, I mean, that, that's going to make it even, that, I mean, talk about being frustrated. Rarely get to see Morgan, then he shows up and he's behind two masks. <laughs> but his hair's so long now, that's what you're thinking. All right, so the ring's supposed to come off of this thing? Well, okay, I'll show you, uh, this, I don't know if I'm gonna be able to do and then this, what's but this just one? so you understand what's happening. This is pretty, I've never seen a puzzle like this, and let me just start by saying, I hate puzzles like this, have always hated them, because I don't have any patience. Um, but there's a maze on both sides of this ring right here. Yeah. And then there is this ring that will come off if you can get, but it has a nub on each side, so you have to get it through yeah, there's a little two tooth. mazes at the same time. The bottom and the top. In order to release it. Are you making any progress? Yeah, I've got one all the way out, but now I've got to find oh, wow. the place where, see, but now you, but see. That's impressive. Well, no, actually, so that part while we were, while we were distracting the people with oh oh oh, I just actually got really far by accident. I think that with Morgan showing up, you were solving this thing. Well, I'm gonna try to solve a different one. Yeah, I actually I don't think I, I'm actually close. How? I think that the thing that I did was actually the, it's probably the really easy part. So this Sputnik type thing is supposed to c come out of here. Can anybody certify that these are solvable? I mean, three seconds into a puzzle, that's always what I'm guessing. This is, this is a prank. 
But what happens to me is I get to this point right now. How do you get this? Out? Where I could devote a lot of specific mental energy to this, or I could just start forcing it and hope I get lucky. And that's what I do. That's what I do in life. Yeah, I, I, I get very frustrated with these because I feel like <sighs> there's a thrill in really applying yourself to something and then succeeding, but it's so fleeting. I mean, there's so much time to go into it, and then it's that little that little jolt of, I mean, what's that, uh, serotonin? Is that what you get? Some sort of some sort of elation, some sort of like chemical release in your brain. It it can't last but for a few seconds, right? Yeah, am I doing this for the serotonin? But this, I mean, this one you've got to pull apart before you can put it together. This one is salt. I give up. So I'm I'm celebrating the fact that this one. This is This one salt. feels like a, a baby could do it, right? All I got to do is get this ball out of this thing, right? So I just got to find the way. Well, I've already worked on that one and gave up. Really? I can't. But well, it's just about getting it to be the right way. I can't even get this puzzle apart. I can't even begin to think about how to take this puzzle apart. It, I mean, is it a certain personality profile that likes these type of things? Oh, or is yeah. it someone who's just doesn't have anything to do? I like, think you have to have, I could ne I have no patience. I have zero patience. I don't even wanna attempt to start any of those things. More more puzzles, uh, you know, over the past year have shown up in our house because, you know, you gotta find something to do. I, well, I did not participate in any of the puzzles that were being solved, but I'd, you know, I'd, I'd check in on it. Like, oh, you're making some progress. You know what the best part of a puzzle is? And it would be is? done. And I'll be like, oh, you did it. When it's... I don't think a baby could do this. The best part of a puzzle is, well, I would say it's solving it, but I don't think that's what that's you're gonna say. that does seem like what I was going to say. But no, the um, I can't even break this part. The, the when you find all the edge pieces, finding the edge pieces, that's satisfying. You get that edge, you get the border done. I'm done. I just need I just need the border, and I'm done. Okay, so then you get that. right. The rest is just for someone else to complete. But you've done your part. Yeah. Um, yeah, the interior is Cassie's. I, I give up on that one. So I don't even know exactly Look what. Look at this one. This one's solved too. My father-in-law. He 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 has all these things. He has a bookshelf right beside his recliner. Oh. And he's got just all of these things in shelves and drawers and stuff. And he pulls it out and he'll like. He'll give them. To, he'll, he would give them to me. This thing's trapped in here forever. That's the. That's the truth of this. The, the thing that he liked about it was giving it to me, knowing that he had solved it, mm -hmm. and knowing that I couldn't solve it. Oh yeah, that's the joy. Just, sh just like, just staring at me, just saying, like, "Oh yeah, is that how you?" Can we I we give just give you guys a little info on the the one you just put down, Brett. The one you thought was impossible. It is impossible. This one confirmed, right? And, yeah, it's called the Hedgehog in a Cage. It's over a hundred years old, and what you do is you just focus on one portion, one little slot, and you, you rotate it piece, uh, you know, piece by piece oh, out okay. of one, one well, slot. Well, so, okay, to my credit, that's yes. what I was trying right. to do. And, See, I, and I got four, I got four tongs out. I got four out right now. But I couldn't, I couldn't get to five. I call this a Sputnik, you call it a hedgehog? That's what it's, it's known as, the hedgehog in the cage. What do you call it? I always called it the Sputnik. Right, one, Oh, I got one, five out. One, two, three, four. I got five out. I told you this is going to be the, mo the most. But see, when I get five out, then it's got to just barely. There's a there's a point with all these where it's like it's just barely going to work, and you have to you can't be afraid to bend. And is it, it one slot's bigger than the other ones? And you have to. Oh yeah, it is. It's this slot. Oh really? Yes. There's a slot. That's oh, bigger. I wasn't even looking, and it came out. <laughs> Did you see that? Yeah. Play that back. I solved it, no look. How did that happen? Bobby, right? look at that. Your son-in-law is worthy of your daughter. I've removed the Sputnik from the cage. So now the marriage is blessed. Yeah, it only took 20, almost 22 years. So when you got those four out, because the funny thing is, I was able to get did the four out. Did y'all see that? I, I saw the, 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 Did you see it? Because I don't think you did. I didn't. Go by feel, man. Stop. Uh... Oh, no. Okay, that's it. Here we go. 
Yep, there we go. And then you just go like this. And see how they keep coming out? And then one by one, you keep rotating it, and then it... One last one, and it... The whole thing's out. Look away. Popped out. So... I was really hoping you wouldn't get it. You find the one that's the biggest one, or you just do it like that, and you shake it, and then it comes out. I, I didn't shake it. I uh, did it by feel only. But once you get one out, you keep turning it the same direction, and, and one more will come out each time. Huh. And so... With this one, does the whole string come out? Yeah, that's the question. You explain that as if Carney didn't literally just explain to you how to do it. <laughs> right before filming, no, I was being more, more specific. <laughs> we filmed a bonus it. round for the Mythical Society. We do that a good amount of times. Uh, if you remember the Mythical Society, you can see bonus rounds and stuff uh, where it was, it was two more shredder things where I could uh, redeem myself. Um, what are we, what are we trying did, to do with did, this one? It didn't go well. Um, so if you're a society member, go over there and check it out. If you're not, uh, join up to check it out. Because it this is reminiscent of that. I was just explaining for, for the people at home, man. That, that So they could do it. I didn't think that Carney's explanation was clear enough. So I was clarifying it. Sorry, Carney. That's okay. <laughs> yeah. Uh, I, I, <laughs> what is the point of this one? What am I trying to do? I think you're supposed to get the loop all the way off. And if you go, I think it's, I mean, sometimes Christy tells me things like, you know what? If she was here right now, I know what she'd be saying. She'd be saying, you know what? This, you should do more of these. This is good for your brain. You, 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 you need to do things like this, Link. It, it helps out, it helps out your, your brain function. And I, I can't disagree with her, but but it also kind of hurts should. my feelings a little bit. So like, what? Well, what do you think? What What do you think about my current level of brain function? You don't think it's uh? I failed you. I can't get this out. But I, are we trying to get it completely out of the thing? Like remove this? Yeah. And look, this one. Wow, that's. I think you're supposed to get this ring off. But there's two loops. And then there's, how do people even come up with this stuff? You know, it's like. There's gotta be a system. Is there someone trapped in a basement somewhere being forced to come up with these things? Puzzle man. I will say aesthetically, I'm very into the curation of this, of all these things. Like these do feel Bobby shelf worthy to me. Oh, I'm gonna, I'm gonna send these to him when this is done. He's gonna love it. I haven't sent him anything that's just for me, maybe ever. So it's like, hey, this is just for me. You know, I was really thinking this about is just it. for me. Oh, you, you know what I just remembered? We have, I have the answer here. Do you have the answer to this one? Because I'm never. Yeah, gonna yeah this one. no, I have the answer to this one. I, I mean, I'm looking at the answer and I'm like, not really motivated to figure it out. <laughs> you know how you look at diagrams of like how to tie a fancy knot. And you're like, I'm not gonna do that. That's what that's what this makes me feel like. I'm just, you know, I, I, hmm. I, I want to be the type of person that's like, you know what? I'm gonna figure this out. I'm gonna, I'm gonna grow my brain at middle age. You know, in case you missed it, uh, we redesigned and expanded our grooming collection, and I wanted to make sure that you want that you check that out. Go to mythical.com. New products, new packaging. There's a comb that sings. Okay. There's two types of pomades. One is a one is a clay pomade. Two types of lip balm. Yeah, check it out. Spread the mythicality. You don't have instructions. For, you don't have instructions for this one. Also on Amazon. Amazon.com/slash/mythical. You know what? I bet you if I break this piece of wood, I could get it off. If I broke that piece of wood, break it. Do it. If I pulled hard enough. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> I have another. One. I'm gonna give this one. To this Bobby. is what like you. Picture me as a little boy in a toy store, and I'm back. You didn't there. even buy it. <laughs> I'm just like, I gotta know I can solve it. Before I'm gonna I buy solve it. this thing, and I'm back there going. <laughs> I don't want to break it because somebody might want to. Anybody want to take it home? I also have the answers to that one. Oh, can I? I, I just I want to. Yeah. Know. Well, uh, there it is. See, uh, pretty simple, right? There's not English. Oh well, I did the I did step two, correct. But after that, it was. Uh, 
Steps uh, three through 12 had eluded me. See, if you learn how to do it and then you hand it to somebody and you say, like your son-in-law, and you're like, no, it, do it doesn't, I wasn't told how to do this. I figured it out on my own, so can you. But I'm gonna watch. That part it. right there, but see, I, that's step two, is pulling that through. Mm -hmm. But then what, what happens? It just feels like I, I accomplished nothing by doing that. Well, I feel like we've accomplished a lot here today. Um, <laughs> the main thing was, you know what? Anything you accomplished today, you can say you did more than we did. And we got to see half of Morgan's face. The top half. Our grooming collection is growing. Shop the expanded Mythical Grooming Collection now at mythical.com.